What's up, guys? We're back with the game of the month, XCOM. Enemy within. Um. Um, 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 um. Scan for activity. <laughs> Commander. You know how it goes by this point, by hopefully. Launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Satellite is ready to go. Okay, carry on. Um, so we have built a satellite. How many satellites can we support? Up to eight. We have two on standby. Fantastic. Let's build another one. Let's build another satellite, shall we? And it's only going to take 20 days. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. We still need to get on our game here. I need to get some more, um, I need to get some more weapon fragments. Uh, the gene modification is almost done too. Implanting a second there heart we go. will allow a critically wounded soldier to survive longer without medical assistance. So, um, let's take a look at her, shall we? I forgot what, what I put on her. But uh, Pride is back, and she is stronger than ever. Yeah, okay. Alright, we got second heart. Oh, that's all we did is put second. Okay. That's all I put on her. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I put a lot more, but that's all. I, I, I don't remember exactly what I put on her. Oh, we don't have that much meld either, so that's why. The only complaint I have about the gene mods is I wish it didn't, like, force them to wear no sleeves. You know? Like... It's just kind of weird having this kind of outfit. <laughs> I I prefer you know like compared to compared to like you know like like Lust over here. If it would load her uh, character model, see that looks a lot cooler with the sleeves and the the gloves. You know what I mean? That's my only minor complaint about doing gene mods. It almost makes me not want to do it for the aesthetic purpose, but the benefits are much more important than how they look. Excavation complete. Okay, so we can build the hyperwave relay, which will let us um, view or uh, uh, let us let us discover the overseer ship, which is the next phase of the main story before the uh, last phase. So, anyways, that's that. Uh, you won't really know what that means. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really explain it. I just know because I've played that. You know, obviously, I played through the game a couple times. It also allows us to see kind of like a composition summary of the enemies we will encounter on future missions. But we can get ghost armor. Oh, I mean, we might as well. It's not like anything else can be researched. So, <laughs> again, why why can't I research anything? Cause I don't have any weapon fragments. Okay. Yeah, we really need to go on a mission. We really need to go on a mission or something. And this request from Asia is about to run out. But yeah, there's no alien activity really. Uh, oh. They're going to give me $1,300 for four ghost grenades. Oh wow. How much do they cost? $1,300. And do they use... Okay, they just use Seeker Rex. Oh, I don't know. I don't even think I have enough of those. Wow, that would be such a huge, um... Ooh, I don't think I can build four of them, though. Or was it only three that they needed? I think they needed four. Let me go back, because that would be a huge profit. That'd be a ridiculous profit. Oh, they want four. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I don't have Seeker Rex. And I don't have enough mech, mech toys either. Damn it. <laughs> I need a mission, I actually kind of need one this time. And sorry Nigeria, it's probably not going to happen. And I'm not giving up my ghost grenade, that's for damn sure. Alright, well, ghost armor's done. Yeah, as you can see, this this month after the alien base is usually pretty uneventful. Oh, I need to, you know, I know what I can do, hold on. Well, um, other than manufacturing ghost armor. Uh, which is really cool. We can't really research anything. This is kind of a waste. Can I at least... Yeah, let's do an intel scan. Positive identification confirmed. Exalt okay. cell location verified. Yeah, we can go on a, a covert operation at least. We'll send Sakamoto over there. Yeah. Am I even saying that right? Sakam... Yeah, Sakamoto. Good. 
good. Well, she's a good soldier too. She'd be an actual valuable asset to the squad, maybe. Uh, if something horrible happens to my support. Oh, I didn't. I actually haven't promoted her with the proper support. We've been at it for days now. Upgrades, though, that would need so. My bunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> Covert Trying to see what Bradley was saying. To disrupt exalt cell in Russia. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Six days till that comes up. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. Uh, an abductor. I believe that's Contact a UFO landing. Detected. Yep, it is. Uh, a UFO raid? I am not complaining. Let's do it. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to keep using uh, Kanan here. Because I don't believe that yeah he's still wounded for eight days damn he got wounded in that last mission that was kind of my bad um uh, actually let's switch these guys let's switch positions here that was kind of my bad um i i mean I, I don't think i was playing horrible but i kind of was hoping like i was i was giving him like kind of the the benefit of the doubt like he would that he would get missed because he was in heavy cover but either the cover was broken or they just got really lucky shots on me i mean it can happen so um, oh, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, you're not, you're going to have to lose your weapon, sorry. We're going to have to give you the shotgun, or the lap plasma, the, blah, the light plasma, because uh, I don't have enough plasma weapons for you. Three to five, as opposed to four to six, yeah, we'll give you the light plasma. Because, um, oh, and we got it. Uh... I'm so disoriented because I lost my uh, I lost pride. So I gotta put her equipment back together. Okay, we got that plasma. Oh, you can't have your chitin plating. Yeah, we gotta get rid of the chitin plating too. Um, sorry. <laughs> we'll give you the uh, ah. I don't know what to give her. We can give her a scope, I guess. I don't really know about the arc though. I'm not really too interested in um yeah I'm not really too interested in capturing anything well we'll, we'll do it just in case I guess I mean, why not okay so just to make sure she's on whoa 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 she's on uh, Titan light plasma okay so I want to make sure my squad is together you know all right all right let's get the loadout screen here so, uh, oh I need to build the uh, ghost armor my bad Oh, I'm. S <laughs> My multitasking today is just completely off. At least in the last couple of videos. Oh, I can't even build it because I don't have enough engineers. Damn, you need 40 engineers to build that thing. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I might as well check out the foundry and see if there's anything. Or you know what? Let's do something to prevent future heartbreak. Let's go ahead and uh, put on rapid recovery because this. Fucking 16 day injury is really killing me here. That makes it where uh, recovery times are cut in half. Contact detected. Okay, now let's try this again. <laughs> let's try this one more time. Do I know what I'm doing? I do know what I'm doing. Am I ready to play this game? Probably not. Why is she in care? Oh, right, right. Alright, makes sense. Plasma, pistol, medkit, ghost. Titan plasma. Okay, yeah, you need your Titan plating. Alien grenade. Okay, that's looking good. He's just... He doesn't need any help. I, there are more mech weapons that you can get. I don't know why I haven't discovered any yet. I think I need to research some more of the UFO stuff. Uh, but we'll get to that point. Um, Titan LMG scope alien. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're good. Um, and just to make sure I got my... One heavy, two assault, sniper support mech. Okay, let's do it. I just make sure because these UFO landings can get tough, Touching especially uh, the abductor class ship. There should be a lot of aliens. Get ready in this to mission. deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like the UFO landed out in the boonies. We, we need to secure the <laughs> surrounding down the area boonies. and eliminate any hostiles before they threaten the local population. So I think Bradley probably grew up in the country or something, because, uh, I don't know, I don't hear a lot of, well, I don't know, I don't hear a lot of city people calling it the boonies, but who knows where Bradley comes from. He sounds like he's from the city, though, when he talks, so. All 
Alright, let's land in the woods and have a little camping trip. Let's go camping XCOM style. Uh, my squad is one man down, but I think that this uh, new assault that I'm using is not too shabby. Roger that big she's, guy. she's okay. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach she's better than your dog caution. is, and uh, he's been in my fucking squad for like ten missions, so. <laughs> okay, let's let's scope the area. Just, you didn't think I was gonna get through a whole video without making fun of your dog, did you? He's the the squad punching bag, let's just say that. I say we take this high ground. Okay, come on. Figure it out. There we go. It's weird because every time the the beginning of the mission starts, it's always I always get kind of like a big lag spike. It's got I guess it's kind of has to load in like the the level or something. Um, like I said, I, I plan on getting a new computer soon. Well, maybe not super soon, but it is in the uh, it is in the books. It is in the uh, it is in my fate to get a new computer. Part of my destiny, let's just say. So that way I can make better quality content. Okay, Jebus. Not that I have a gigantic fan base, but still, I still want to do what I can to make, uh, you know, my videos the best Roger that they that. can be. Uh, I'm trying to work on just overall. Uh, I mean, I, I don't remember how I, how I was when I first started recording. Uh, I was probably. Target confirmed. I think I got a pretty decent start. Like with my uh, with my Dark Souls Let's Play, I feel it was a pretty good starting. Let's Play series yes, that I got made. So, um, but I think since then, I've just kind of learned a few things, and I'm, I'm a little more comfortable. Like I, I see some of the some newer channels, and they kind of seem a little shy, you know, like they don't really, they don't really know what to say and stuff. And it uh, it makes sense because I can understand that. I mean, you're sitting here with a microphone, and you're just like, you know, how who who do you how do you know what to say? You know, but you just kind of have to imagine that you're actually talking to somebody and. We've immediately run into a mechtoid and a sectoid, a sectoid commander. This is a uh, one hell of a welcoming party. <laughs> one hell of a welcoming party. Goodness, none of my guys are in range to shoot a rocket either. I only have one heavy actually, and it's Yadav. And you know, only having Yadav as a heavy isn't exactly. Uh, I don't know, man. We're not gonna win any any wars with this uh, this soldier anytime soon. <laughs> Let's just say that the Dov is gonna have um, a lot of trouble. But we do get a double shot, and I will take the double shot on the. I'm not really worried about the uh, Sectoid commander that much, but I will worry about this Mechtoid. We will double shot this guy. Double tap, actually. Eight damage. Oh, hell. Well, he's gonna go in Overwatch. Okay, that works. I was expecting a little bit more than 8 damage. 8 damage again. Okay, well, that'll work. I mean, 16 damage done. Uh, let's use the new girl. Oh, she doesn't have refle uh, lightning reflexes or whatever that's called. So we're gonna use Pride, actually. Yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna put Pride here. I realize I use half cover a lot, which is uh, a lot of people don't really they, they they frown upon it basically, uh, you know. But I, I don't know. I, you just not always heavy cover to use. I mean, there's like in this immediate area, there's one that faces the wrong way. There's one right here. There's one that's below where I can't get a shot, and there's one right here. You know, so sometimes you just gotta use what you got. And I have a 77% chance with that. Um, I'm gonna actually... Hmm. We're gonna put Yadav up uh, here and see if he can't Got do it, something go. about... Maybe we get some hollow targeting or something going on here. 62% chance he might actually be able to pull this one off. Of course not. What, what was I thinking? I was no like, you know, happened. maybe Adav will get this one. You know, he, he can't always miss, but I, actually I think he is cursed or something because he misses all the time. He, he pretty much misses every time. Uh, son of a bitch. Okay. I mean, the hollow targeting is, at this point is the only benefit from him, uh, the main benefit. 
I'm gonna laugh if she gets the kill. Come on, new girl. Uh, look at this. Look at this. And we have Yadav with what with yet another assist. Can't quite get the win, but he can get the assist alright. He can't quite score. Um 58% chance. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to win any uh lotteries with that kind of with that kind of uh, luck here. And I can't quite get the shot off. I guess everyone can just line up on this log. If a grenade comes, I'm dead. But I don't think the Sectoid Commander can throw grenades. In fact, we'll take this shot. See if we can't somehow, like, lucky crit. Okay. Big yeah. miss. It's not really worth shooting a grenade out. But I will probably shoot a, uh, a proxy mine. Perhaps. I don't think there's going to be anything else in here, though. Yeah, let's just go Overwatch instead. That way, if he tries to move closer, he's going to get he's going to get hit. I mean, Wrath is like a guaranteed hit. Okay, he's going to try to mind control or something. Uh, mind control failed. Are you mad? You can't mind control Pride. Look at her, fucking. Look at her will, it's 118! You're not gonna mind control her anytime soon. <laughs> it's a death wish, this, this sectoid commander. Um, okay, well, let's move Wrath up. Or at least move him, start moving That's him down the ramp here. We should be able to get a pretty decent shot. 84% chance. Uh, we're gonna send Yadav on, um... I think we're gonna send Yadav on... <laughs> Mel duty. Or no, we might as well send a new girl. Yadav can't be used... He probably can't be trusted with that either. <laughs> He'll probably go the wrong way or something. Like, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll actually use Yadav and clip, click, like, right here, and he'll move, like, over here. You know, the game just... <laughs> Throws that handicap, the Yadav handicap at me. When you See, I don't need to put on classic di difficulty when I have uh, Yadav in my squad, because, you know, you pretty much can't uh, handle it. Okay, enough of enough of that, though. Let's. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of running out of things to say about him, so we're just going to finish this guy off. This guy is dead meat. New girl has gotten both kills. Yeah, new girl's got both kills. She's uh, killing it. <laughs> She's killing it. You get it. Anyways, let's see. Uh, Yadav, you need to move up. Can I? Hey, wake up, man. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he did pretty good in the last couple missions, I think. So I can't really say too much about him. Can't complain too much about him. He's not. He's not too terrible. Just a little terrible. Um, we're gonna actually reload with you. And for good reason, because oh, there's a berserker. Berserker. If anyone hasn't seen Clerks, that's where that. Uh, where the Berserker song comes from. Would you like to make fuck Berserker? Alright. That Berserker. Okay, what is a Berserker? Berserker is a uh, Wolverine Muton, basically. He's got these uh, claws. He only does melee attacks, but he hits like... Uh, you can imagine. Uh, it's not exactly a tickle when he hits you. Plus, these guys are... You know, you know about Mutons. But uh, also, when you shoot them, they move at you every time in a really laggy way. I've never been able to find out how to fix that. Um, but yeah, that's that's what they are. And every time you, you hit them, they move even closer towards you. So you better fucking kill them. Let's just say that. No messing around. Um, let's get this meld. 
with the new girl. Solid copy. She can still get a shot too. So that's not completely useless. She should, she can still get a decent shot. Um, now the the cool thing about berserkers is you can actually lure them into uh, a position that you you want, right? So, for example, uh, actually I'll probably not. I'll, I need to use the. Uh, he's he's dead. I'm pretty sure I can get him with all those other guys. So let's go ahead and try to take these guys out. Hopefully get some, uh, I think I have double tap active. Okay, so he's dead. Can I double tap? Yeah, I can. 15 damage crit, that is ridiculous. Let's get this one off. Okay, so our sniper is like one hitting mutons with that plasma rifle. Uh, OP. <laughs> OP pretty much. We're gonna hit you with the hollow targeting. Alright, you dog. He's coming right at you. What are you shooting at? You <laughs> dog, you're killing me. Time. You're so terrible. He's not really that far away. He's not even in cover, man. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> God. Oh, what is wrong with this guy? Two damage. Seven damage. Not bad. So now he's going to come at us in a very laggy way. It, it, it's like that every time. I don't know what what the point of that is. So now that he's a little bit closer, uh, let's go ahead and shoot with uh, with you. Well, hell, we can... It's almost to the point where we might not be able to kill him. That 6 damage pretty much guarantees it, though. Oh, she's scared. She panicked on me. She panicked. I can't believe it. Um... Okay, well, fuck. Let's get this, uh, 86. Okay, he's pretty much dead. In fact, I should have waited for her to, uh... Well, no, she can't move. I can actually capture one of these. Let's go ahead and use pride, though. 93% chance. Uh, let's not waste a plasma rifle shot. Let's just use the pistol. Boink! I love that delayed jump. <laughs> He's... Ammunition loaded. Alright. So that encounter worked out well. Okay, we got some more friendly little Let's get started. units coming in here. And she's panicked. Uh, you guys haven't actually seen that before. Uh, what hap What is panic? Well, technically, if your will is low, like 40, maybe even 50, but, you know, like 30, 40, like at the beginning of the game a low will can constitute in uh, panic I lose control of this unit for a turn also when they go into panic they can even do things uh, really weird things like uh, like they could actually shoot at my own guys uh, which is the worst case scenario so panic is really uh, really bad actually uh, that's what is uh, a it's a good reason to have a high will not only for psionic resistance but for panic resistance as well As we can see here, uh, panic also comes from not only a big badass Wolverine guy coming at you, but uh, it also comes from uh, if one of your squad mates dies. I've had I've had playthroughs where like you know in the be uh, beginning game, especially on like classic difficulty, uh, where my moving uh, you know one of my teammates will die and like two or three of my guys, like two of my guys will go in panic mode and just like all get wiped out because I can't control them and to save their lives. Which is very, very unfortunate. It really sucks when that happens, actually. It's, it's really bad. Um, everyone's gonna overwatch. I know we're kinda spread out. But, um... Yeah. I know we're kinda spread out. Also, I saw a neat trick. Um, I should've actually done it. I screwed up. I saw a neat trick. I think uh, I was watching Northern Line, one of his playthroughs that he's doing right now on this game, and um, he used a battle scanner to uncloak the Seekers. Hello. Well, everyone and everyone is coming in for this. You know, I've never had this many guys come in from the from the very entrance of the ship. This is this is insane. And we still have Seekers coming too.
Well, it's a good thing I went into full uh, defensive mode because... Let's see what we can do. We need to take this thing out for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and use my headshots. Oh my god, one hit. Just one hit of fucking Cyberdust. Take that, asshole. 19 damage critical. Jesus. And that's... You know what? I hate Cyberdust, so he deserved that. How's it feel? How's it feel, Joan? Knowing that everyone you loved and known is dead all around you. <laughs> Heading to that location. Does it feel bad? All right, he can join them. Good riddance. Good riddance. Okay. Oh, whoops. Ah, I didn't want to Overwatch with a pistol. Unfortunate. So we still have the seekers to deal with. Here they go. Here we go. This is a dead seeker. There we go. Goodness gracious. And uh, you can see it flopping around there. Actually, I might be able to, to do the ghost grenade mission. That uh, the ghost grenade request. Because oh oh my cover's killed. Okay, fine. Did I just do it again? Did I just overwatch the pistol? My goodness. I need to stop doing that. I need to pay attention. Oh, I want to try something. Uh, there's apparently like an overwatch all button. What is it? Control uh, O? Alt O? Someone's got to tell me, man. I, I've i seen people where they, they'll hit, uh, they'll be able to overwatch with everyone in one button. So, I need to... Ah, I want to see if I can figure this out real quick. This is something that's been, like, bugging me for quite some time. Tactical shortcuts, here we go. Uh, is there, like, an over Overwatch Everyone button or something? Uh... There's actually a button for... Apparently, Hunker Down is K. Interesting. Uh, let's see what we have. Swap weapons, X, text chat, move camera up, down, everyone knows how to do that, WASDA. Zoom in, zoom out, toggle zoom is Z. Uh, ascend floor. Overwatch is Y. Interesting. So can I control Y? Affirmative, covering now. No. What about Alt Y? I'm watching. Well, that was the last soldier, so we'll never know. Okay, 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 okay. Switch. Let's try this. This is gonna be an experiment. Alt Y. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Shift Y? Okay, maybe that's a mod or something. Okay, well, at least I know Y is Overwatch, so that's kinda good. That's kinda useful. Why am I overwatching? Well, you know. You've seen these, uh, Seeker. You've seen these little Seeker videos where the. You know, okay, that's pretty much the standard strategy against these guys. There he is, he's trying to sneak up on my, my sniper. He's gonna pay dearly for that. Okay, everybody reload. Everybody reload. So we have dealt with a ton of guys actually. Back online. Ready to fire. Uh, what was it? Mechtoid, Sectoid Commander, two uh, Seekers, a uh, Cyberdisc and a Drone, two Mutons, and a Berserker have all welcomed us to their ship. And for that, I uh, don't really have to, I don't really thank them. <laughs> Position confirmed. I'm honestly kind of surprised that this mission is still going on. I mean... Figum. It's a pretty damn long mission. I mean, this is only the entrance of the ship, too. This is a pretty big ship, if you look at it. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So, this is like alien base times, too, almost. In fact, I can actually get on the rooftop, uh, which I might actually do with my sniper, just for fun. Let's, let's try it. Let's see if I... I probably can't grapple from here. Yeah, I can't really grapple from this angle, but... Uh, we're gonna, of course, move you. 
right down the middle. Affirmative, Commander. He's gonna move up here by himself. We're gonna put two squads. We're gonna put. We're gonna put. We're gonna br break up our squad into two groups here. One guy going down the middle or side here. One guy going down this side. A vice versa on this side. Him going up the middle, and the sniper's gonna go on the roof. That sounds like a good plan. Let's put you in one for all. Cover position here. So that way, uh, come on, <laughs> come on. That way my heavy can rush up and use you as cover. Just in case. Mm. Sniper is going to just move all the way up to here. I don't think there's going to be a lot more enemies to really greet us up here, so. Moving out. Uh, I'd be surprised though if the mission ended, like everyone just comes out of the beginning here. Overwatch, aye aye. I love it. Yeah, I wish, yeah, I really need to figure out how to do Overwatch all though. That's That would be really useful. It'd make the, I'll probably make the videos actually go by faster. I'm on my way. Okay, so you go ahead and do your thing. Do your thing, uh... You know, Yadav and the new girl kind of go well together. Understood. Moving out. So we're gonna put them together. In fact, Yadav is probably gonna... He's probably going to move through that by himself. She's gonna go ahead and when go up this path. Oh, that's Lust. Oh my... Oh, whoops. Uh... Where's the new girl at? Oh, it's, okay, it's her. Okay, well, the... <laughs> my bad. The new girl will go this Double way, then. Time. You go ahead and watch. Pride will do... Uh, her thing. Look how much health she has. She's insane. She's super powerful. And let's go ahead and do this. Awesome. Yeah, let's grapple. This is cool. I love the grappling hook. Don't really use it too much. Is there anything to really note up here? I don't. I don't think there's really anything to see. It may seem crazy, but there's never enemies on the roof. I mean, I think I can actually drop down, like, up here. Yeah, I, could, I think I can actually drop down, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think I just opened the door. <laughs> yeah. Ah, whoops, my bad. I wonder if I can throw a battle scanner, like... I don't know if that actually... It looks like it's going to go, like, through the roof or something. What a throw! Okay, okay, yeah, I can kind of see... Uh... uh okay. Weird. Alright, let's, let's breach through the door, even though I, every time I try to, the camera goes all crazy. Okay, so... Ten four. Uh, go ahead. Get off. Do your thing. She's gonna actually run and gun. Set him up, knock him down. I, I don't like. I like to run and gun uh, into these positions that I'm not sure that there are enemies in because uh, it makes me feel better. Rolling out. That way I can actually. I know I can get a shot off at least, so I run into problems. Okay, so she can't really do anything, or at least she can't really see anything. We're gonna line you up on the ramp too. Because we're about to breach through here in four different directions. Um, just judging my, uh... Just judging from my XCOM knowledge, I really don't think there's going to be anything in any of these rooms. Um, there's probably like, like a outsider alien, like at the very end. And then, you know, it's probably like the only thing we have to deal with. I got a prize. You can go ahead and make your ascent. Affirmative, Commander. Okay. I'm watching. I would usually be using proxy mines, but I don't want to, you know, when these alien ship missions, you don't really want to damage the ship too much with explosives. So that's the uh, reasoning behind that lack of, uh, I mean, I guess you guys wouldn't even know that strategy, because I, I don't really, I haven't really used it yet, but later on in the game, you'll see me launching uh, proxy mines, like, everywhere, because, it, you know, why not? 
Okay, so for this turn, we're actually going to line up here yes, just to see if there's anything around this corner. There is not. Okay, so in that case, we're going to line up on the door. This way we can reach this room from like four different angles. C'est parti. And he can work his way over the roof. Pretty useless, I guess. He can't really do anything from up there. But, um... I'm gonna wait a turn to breach through this. Oh, this mission is going on a little longer than I expected. Position but these, uh, alien craft missions always kind of do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Okay, good, 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 good. Overwatch. Wow, hitting Y is so much faster, though. I like that. That's at least a one step up from what I was previously doing. It's getting really glitchy, like I can't really click where I want to. It's a little bit, it's a little bit annoying. This next turn, we're going to breach in now. We're going to lead off with our mech. Heading out. Oh, don't tell me there's nothing in this room. There probably isn't. I probably just, I probably just got all lined up to this, to breach this room for no reason. Go. All right, go in, move in, move in. Nothing, nothing here. Okay, breach this door. Is there anything? I think I took out like most of the enemies in this uh, first half of this ship, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the uh, the like uh, what is it? Pilot room. So. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Well, I might as well move him down. Like, I don't know. He might as well drop down, though, because there's not really anything to see. Yeah, this, this is all pretty, pretty much empty. Okay. Alright, new girl's gonna move in. Take cover behind this... <laughs> take cover behind this power source here. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing really to see. Uh, there's probably like one more enemy left, uh, under, uh, on my prediction at least. Yeah, you might as well just, I don't know, you might as well just move down here. Yeah, look at him. Look at this guy, this guy's so... <laughs> This guy's uh, acrobatic. I've got my eyes on. That's why I like snipers. They can move really far. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, yep, there's an alien in this room. I I could probably tell that from the lack of anything else happening. Um, let's go ahead and breach through here. Yeah, we're going to just breach this room hardcore. She's in position. I don't, that's pretty much where I want to put her. Um, Double time. Yeah, let's just kind of... Let's just dash. This is gonna be kind of anticlimactic. We'll see what's in this room. I'm gonna like shit bricks if it's like a, like watch it be an, an ethereal or something like. Systems engaged. Like, this thing is ramping up quickly. Um, you'll see what I mean. Ethereals are kind of tough. Uh, I think they're like the last enemy that you reveal in the game, but I don't think you. No, we can't get to ethereals yet until we get to the next story mission. So. Uh, I, I highly doubt we're gonna run into ethereals before that happens. If we do, though, that would be <laughs> that would be a very interesting situation. Like, I don't think we're actually supposed to know you guys you exist yet. It's supposed to be like some top secret thing, but okay. All right, everyone, get ready. We're going to put our well, you know, we might as well put your dog there. I'm on the move. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna put you in the middle, like right here, right here. I don't like him being like. I don't know why. I just have these really picky things. Where I don't want him to be like too close to the door. It's I weird, I know. But uh, everyone yeah, just, man. everyone basically yeah, just overwatches at this point. Yeah, I really need to figure out how to overwatch. Scanning. 
I tried alt O. I tried or shift O. No. I don't know. I think that's a mod. But if anyone knows how to do that, please uh, comment or something. <laughs> that saved me so much time. All right, this should be the last room. Three sectoid commanders. Whoa. You know, this could be very useful, actually. Um, I might be able to capture one of these if I play this right. Don't want to kill him. So if, if, if I don't want to kill him, then I need to put Yadav in here. <laughs> just, if I don't want something to die, let's just put him there to deal with it. Because it's almost a guarantee that he won't kill it. It's like a, it's a, it's like an instant guarantee. Um, who doesn't? Who's not gonna do that much damage? Well, everyone's gonna do a ton of damage to it too. Well, we can put lust in there. I'll put lust here. Special. She shouldn't kill it with this shot. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really worried about the commanders that much. It does up to 8 damage, though. She can still do 8 damage? Really? Okay, well, Yadav, you're gonna do uh, what you do best. I'm on it, and that is probably miss horribly. 75% chance. Let's see if I can get a critical hit on this thing. 6 damage critical. Uh, it still has lots of health left. I can't say I'm thrilled about that, but don't fret. I can get a pistol shot and probably do something with this. One damage. Okay, I'm not... <laughs> okay, that's not good. I wanted to do at least two damage with that, but... Oh, damn. Alright, Pride's going to be able to pretty much one hit one of them. I'm fairly certain that that is a possibility. So we're going we're going to do this. We're going to okay. we're going to go for this. We're going to try to stun this thing. It's it's a 70% chance, not too shabby. Let's go for it. Oh, this works. There we go. All right, we captured a sectoid commander. We're bringing home a live one. Uh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't actually know what that does. Um, honestly, I think it gives us some kind of credit towards the Sonic Lab or something. Uh, but yeah, we got it. We got it. Let's go ahead and put Pride up. Us. This is probably going to be an instant kill. I would be surprised if she doesn't pull this off. There we go. So one Sectoid Commander is not going to be able to do much. There were actually four Sectoid Commanders on this mission, now that I think about it. That is quite a number to have in one mission. I mean, you might run into like two of them. So this is a... Whatever they got going on with the ship is pretty important. Yeah, this should be a pretty big hit. Maybe even killing it. We'll see. Okay. He's not dead. So he gets one turn to do something. Uh, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. He, he can do like, what does they have, like a uh, plasma pistol? Yeah, he's not even gonna, he's gonna probably take a shot at my... What's he doing? Oh, he mind controlled the new girl. <laughs> he, he mind controlled the new girl. Okay. So she is mind controlled. She will actually try to kill our soldiers now. Not, uh, you know... I would prefer her not to. She has such low will, though. She's an easy target for psionic abilities, so... Uh, but unfortunately for this sectoid commander, he's not gonna be able to live very much longer. And we really could use a, uh, a kill for Yadav here, so... I'm on the move. I like how you, I can actually kill her. Which... <laughs> That, I can only imagine that situation being like the worst case scenario. You gotta kill your own soldiers so they don't kill your squad. Alright, Yadov. Do it, man. He blew a hole in the ship. You're doing more damage to the ship than you are to the enemies. 
Oh, Wrath. Just, just whatever. In this mission. In the mission, please. Before any more damage happens. Because God only knows how many turns it would take Excellent to get out to work. kill one alien. All objectives complete. All right, we did it. Uh, didn't get all the meld, but we did get a sectoid commander to uh, uh, to interrogate, which we will do in the next video. So that's cool. That that works. Plus, we should get some goodies from that ship. Excellent work, Commander. Um, I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the meld substance without any casualties. So much of the meld substance. We only got ten, Doctor Valen. It's not that much. My right, lightning reflexes. It's not that much, Doctor Valen. We only got ten. Capture? Please give my thanks to the men, Commander. I know it oh, can't 15? be an easy task oh. trying to bring them in alive. Okay, good. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. Berserker autopsy plasma pistol. Oh, plasma pistol, nice. Um, we recovered a plasma pistol with an alien grenade, some sectoids, blah blah blah. Um, we got a captive, but here's the important stuff here. Two UFO power sources, four computers, three surgeries. Finally got some weapon fragments going on. Alright, good, 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 good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this mission and this video. Um, it went pretty well. Um, there was a lot of enemies in that mission, though. and Like I always say, it was like, you know, we, we got out of it pretty lucky. Because we just got a really good encounters. It could have, uh, you know, running into a room with a berserker is never good. But luckily for us, it just kind of came outside. So uh, that works out for me, though. I'm not going to complain. Uh, so until next time, guys, thanks for watching, as always. And I will see you later.